Hi everyone, I'm Knowledge Jason and again welcome back to my YouTube channel Basic Speech Practice and Knowledge Listening. Today I'm here to deliver a speech on a Chinese multinational electronics manufacturer called Hisense. Hisense is a Chinese multinational electronics company that is headquartered in Qingdao, Shandong province in China. Televisions are the main products of Hisense and it is the largest TV manufacturer in China by market share since 2004. Hisense is also an original equipment manufacturer. Pro products are sold to other companies and carry brand names not related to Hisense. Two major subsidiaries of Hisense Group are public companies, the Hisense Visual Technology and the Hisense HA. Both had a state of over third sorry stake of over thirty percent through Hisense Holding Company before the end of twenty twenty. The Qingdao No. 2 Radio Factory, the predecessor of Hisense Group, was established in September 1969, which is the year its existence was first officially recognized. The small factory's first product was a radio that was sold under the brand name called Red Lantern. Their first TV model, the CJD18, was produced in 1978. Television production in China was limited until 1979 when a meeting of the Ministry of Electronics in Beijing concluded with calls for greater development for the civil use electronics industry. Qingdao No. 2 Radio Factory was then quickly merged with other local electronics makers and manufactured, um, manufactured televisions under the name Qingdao General Television Factory in Shandong Province. Color, te color, te sorry, color televisions were f manufactured through the purchase of a production line from Matsu Matsushita, the first of many such technology transfers from foreign firms Hisense had made in order to remain competitive. The companies it has bought from include Hitachi, Lucent, Matsushita, NEC, Sanyo, Toshiba and Qualcomm. The Hisense Group emerged in, 1940, sorry, in 1994 from a tumult started in 1992 by then President Zhao Hojian or perhaps even by Li Dejian, director of the Electronic Instrument Bureau, Bureau of Kingdom. The Hisense Electrical Appliance shareholding company was publicly listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange in, in April 1997. The increased competition and price wars in the Chinese electronics market in the 1990s were a boon to Hisense, which gained 10 falling enterprises by 1998. Eager to expand beyond consumer electronics, Hisense Group aimed to become a regional leader in household appliances, computers, and communications as well. Numerous products are faulty. This strategy prompted great outlays of capital on R&D or research and development and on the creation of industrial etc. Hisense, Hisense and Hitachi established Hisense Hitachi Air Conditioning System Corporation Limited in 2003. It designs, manufactures and markets its products which includes uh, commercial and household central air conditioning systems in China. They sell them in Japan. It operates a commercial air, condi air conditioning production facility in the Sense Information Industrial Park in China. In 2013, Hisense invented a type of transparent 3D television. In July 2015, Hisense bought a Mexico facility from Sharp for 23.7 million US dollars alongside rights to use the Sharp brand on televisions sold in North and South America. In November 2017, Hisense announced that it would gain a 95% controlling stake in Toshiba Visual Solutions for 113 million US dollars. In 2018, Hisense became a major shareholder in the Slovenian appliance manufacturer called Gorange with 95.4% of shares.
in, two, in 2020, it introduced the world's first true 8K 10-bit HDR screen TV that is based on an AI-powered HDR algorithm and an image quality engine claiming 6.5T supercomputing power. In May 2022, Hisense announced the launch of the company's first 4K 5 TV. The TV has, has a 50 inch 60 hertz display with a bezel less design. It uses Hisense's ULED technology and comes with support for Dolby Vision HDR with Fire TV built in. Uh, Hisense Group has over 80,000 employees worldwide as well as 14 industrial parks, some of which are located in Qingdao, Shendai, Huzu, Shed Republic, South Africa and Mexico. There are also 18 R&D centers located in Qingdao, Shenzhen, the United States, Germany, Slovenia, Israel and other countries. So these were the informations I plan to talk about in today's informative speech. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my speech, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember to turn on the bell icon to receive my latest notifications. Once again, thank you so much all of you for watching.